Hey guys, John here. So it's 5.08 in the morning. So let's do Trashel on that time video 11. Okay, Goliath Bird Eater. Therophosa Blondie. Uh, showing signs in pre molt. The atoms starting to darken. That's a good sign. And a Mexican fire leg, Raki Pamabomi. Uh, bald spot. Typical. Uh, Ground Soul Pulcra, Brazilian Black. Huge female. There's an adult female. Aphonopomal Calcodes, Desert Blonde. Slightly defensive. Here's Scarlet, my Bracky Palma Smithy. Mexican Redney. She's gorgeous. And there's my U Palace Trust Chemistratus, Pink Super Beauty. Freshly molted two days ago. She's awesome. Stretched out in the corner. I'll probably you can see the colors this is my Viclare Versi color. In Tilly's Pink Toe. Uh, here's Randy, my mature male Tapakinius Gigas, orange tree spider. Oh, it's kind of brown. Mature male. Uh, Amanda's in here. It's on Pulse Pulker, kind of blonde. Here's my Pulcotheria Safusca Lowland, ivory ornamental. There's my Savopolis Reductus, mature male. Costa Rican orange mouth tree spider. Hedescadra uh, maculata, Togo Starburst baboon. Uh, this is my juvenile. She's pretty cool. Uh, Pocotheria fasciata, this is the Sri Lankan ornamental. Very similar to the Regalis, except uh, has different. Uh, Abdominal patterns and carapace patterns, and you don't see the clear band. I don't know if this will come out clear on camera. Here's my Stramata Palma Calciatum. Uh, the Feather Lake Baboon. Neat even webs. No, oh, my Miranda's still not out yet. She freshly molted. Uh, pity we won't be able to see a video of her. There's Megan, Vicularia, Vicularia, Pink Toe, this is the female. Mega Fabima Robostum, Climbing Giant Red Leg. Uh, she dug a deep thorough. Oh, my curly hair's out, nice. Bracky Palma, Abopolosum. Adult female, 100% recommended for beginners. Very docile, very slow. Very predictable, very hungry. What more can you ask for? Here's the adult female Togo Service Baboon. Grishina. And she's pooped everywhere. Wow. Pooper. Uh, mature male Nadu Chromatis, the white striped bird eater. Uh, there is Pompabetus Platyama. The pink bloom bird eater. Uh, my Minax, half a pound Minax, Thailand Blacks all the way in the back. Goody Sapphire Ornamental, Pocotheria Metallica. Huge admin. I don't think she's in pre mold yet. She last molded in March. So, probably won't expect her maybe to probably molt in October, November. Uh, there's some of Paul's camera dry, turned out Chevron. Showing its teeth at me. Okay, let's go here. Oh, there's my cross spider, Arunus Tia Dematis. Starting to make the webs. Lacidor difficilis, the Brazilian far red breeder. Female. And uh, Marufalada is not out. It's always hiding in that flower pot. No surprise. Cat is way behind in the corner. 
He looks possibly in pre-molt. The Calera Urticans, the Giant Peru Pinto. Uh, freshly molted Sampos Arminia, Guns with the Sun Tiger. Oh, this is very beautiful. Arminias are probably my favorite Sampos. Probably said that already. And let's see, let's go up here. Here's my Polcothera Regalis in an ornamental, 6 inch female. Lighting as always. This one's no exception. Well, you can actually see this one. Uh, four and a half inch female Hysterocrates Gigas, the Cameroon Red Baboon, Elena. Uh, there's Mark, mature male Chromatopama cyanopubescens, uh, green bottle blue. Just wandering around the cage, just looking for a female. Uh, here's MJ. Uh, yeah, you won't find him. He's my male Pinto. Megan's just too young for him to uh, mate well. I just hope he survives by the time she matures. If not, I'll have to get another male. There's Talia, Gramasola, Rosea. Now they're calling this Gramasola Pottery. Chilean Rose. Here's Ashley. Nandu Vulpinis. Giant Strawberry Blonde Bird Eater. Here's Salem. Pocotheria Hermosa. Salem Ornamental. Female. Oh, my Charlotte's still in pre molt. Gamasola Pulse Stripes, Chaco Goldeny. This is the one I mentioned in Transliving Video 20 that this one was in pre molt. You can actually see the blue patch in there. Okay. Uh, immature male, 5 inch. Pocotheria Ornata, the fringed ornamental. I need a female. Female from Ectopus Concerides, the Haitian Brown Bird Eater. Goes very quick. Mavicurus Jacksoni, have three of them. Rusty Thick Tail Scorpion. Uh, this one probably we may or may not see. This is right there. Vopus Uniman. The Emerald Skeleton. And the thing that's lightning fast, if you saw my feeding video. Man, she's quick. And she also escapes whenever I open the cage to miss the cage, so I really gotta be careful if you ever get one. Cyclosternum fasciatum, Costa Rican tiger up. Right there. Cyrocosmus Perez Melissi, Bolivian dwarf. Sub adult, very small. They only get up to about 3 inches maximum. She's probably about. Eh. Three quarters of the size. There's a fat El Peasling, Lassidor Para Hibana, Brazilian Pink Sam Bird Eater. We call them LPs for short. Choco Goldeny. Oh, I have one molt. Sweet. Well, let's check her out. And I got one here and one over here. So let's check it out. I would say she's about two inches right now. I raised these uh, from a half an inch spiderling, so in about say two years. Got about the size. It's very slow growing. It would take about three to four years to mature to fully mature. Yeah. Awesome. And Mr. Leahy, mature male Tapakini Ascius orange tree spider. It's the larger one. Here's my fat, unsexed Polcotheria Petersoni, the ghost ornamental. Yeah, wow. <laughs> that silkworm really fattened her up. Uh, here's my bee wagons. Isaac and Red Rump. Ooh, this one's out, sweet. Uh, Trinachillus Lagardi. This is the Fort Hall baboon. Or people like to call it the Dodoma baboon. Still the same thing. 
A very, very skinny species. Not so aggressive. One of the good old worlds to start off if you want to start collecting the old worlds. Even though that they're in the same genus as the OBT, I find this one to be highly less aggressive than the OBT. Here is the Indian Violet, Kilobrachys frimbraeus. Son of a gun, she actually took that huge cricket that I fed in my video. Wow, she's growing ever quickly. Just a little cricket like. Not bad for a small spider. Three quarters of an inch. Cool. Then. No, no, no adult colors yet. Here's my straight horn baboon. Sarah Tajaris Marshali, 5 inch female. 4.5 inch female, not fully grown yet. Canthus Curia Brocklehursty, giant white banded. Here's my 4.5 inch male, Lassidara Para Hibana, Brazilian pink salmon bird eater. The thing about what I like about LPs is that their egg counts are ridiculously high. They can attain as much as 2,000 spiderlings. That's what I like about them, because they're cheap, affordable, very easy to take care of, and possibly rival T. Blondie size. They can actually get up to about having a 10 to 11 inch leg span. So is the Difficilis, but very, very cool. If you guys want any huge tarantulas that are easy to take care of, but I wouldn't suggest handling them. Um, all tarantulas have personalities. Some are very nice, and some are very mean. Uh, Euthalus trigulentis, truly and beautiful, behind the water dish. Hapapama lovinum, cobalt blue. I'm assuming she's in the burrow. No surprise. Uh, there's the OBT, Trinitulus moranus, red color form. Mature male, you get to see the hooks. Um, assuming behind the flower pot is the Phonopalma simani, Kosuken zebra. And last but certainly not least, the Phobopus moranus. The skeleton. Very, very beautiful. Bridget. <laughs> That's what I named her. Alright, guys, hope you enjoyed the nighttime video. Peace.